This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for this show of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Edition. Well, we have students from four high schools who will be putting their knowledge to the test in this show. You're going to see Versailles take on New Knoxville in the first game, and a little bit later, Paulding will face off against Riverdale. Of course, we want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Versailles, we have Sam Stockler, Maggie Marshall, Grace Francis, and Hattie Treon. Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning to New Knoxville, playing for New Knoxville, we have Samantha Newman, Alyssa Merriam, Raymond Newton, and Joshua Schroyer. And New Knoxville is coached by Mr. Corey Cannon. Welcome to all of you. All right. We want you to have some fun here, but we also want you to do your part in speaking up. Make sure that when you ring those buzzers that your answers are complete as possible. We do have a judge with us, Mark Dickman, and we will refer to him if we have any questions. And is everybody ready to go? Okay, take a deep breath. Here we go. First round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Question number one. Name the famous bell that strikes the hour in the clock tower of London. Yes, for sales. Big Ben. Big Ben is the answer. Name the process a caterpillar goes through to become, yes, that would be uh, for sales. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is correct. Remember, please speak up if you could. What is the first book in the Bible named after a woman? New Knoxville. Esther. Esther is incorrect. For sales, you've got a chance with this one. All right, the answer is Ruth. Moving on to question number four. What U.S. town was the site of the shootout at the OK Corral? For sales. Tombstone. That is correct. Tombstone is the answer. The Shannon River is in what European country? For sales. Scotland. Scotland is incorrect. <clears throat> New Knoxville, you've got a chance with this one. Time is up. The answer is Ireland. All right, number six. Name the state that forms the northeast corner of the United States. Yes, New Knoxville. Maine. Maine is the answer. The Ivory Coast is in what continent? Yes, for sales. Africa. Africa is the answer there. All right, question eight in your first round. What country is the Black Forest long associated with wild fairy tales and looming castles located in? Versailles. Germany. Germany is the correct answer. All right, two questions remaining in this first round. Name the fortress in Paris that was destroyed during the French Revolution. Versailles. Bastille. Bastille is correct. All right, final question, round one. What are the caverns in New Mexico that have limestone caves? All right, teams, time is up. The answer, the Carlsbad Caverns. Okay, we've come to the end of round one between New Knoxville and Versailles. Here is our score. New Knoxville, you have 10 points, Versailles, with 60, we'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal.
All right, we are moving into our second round in this game between New Knoxville and Versailles. Here's our score right now. New Knoxville, you have 10 points and Versailles 60. So that means you're going to lead this round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please ring in with your answer and make sure your answers are as loud as possible. All right, question one. What are the world's four oceans? Yes. Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic. That is correct, very good. All right, question two. Who wrote The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes? Time is up, the answer is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. All right, number three. What city is overlooked by the 130-foot-tall Christ the Redeemer statue? Yes. Rio de Janeiro. That is correct. Moving on to number four now. Who eats curds and whey in a nursery rhyme? Yes. Little Miss Muffet. Miss Muffet is correct. And your final question in the second round. In what game do players take turns removing one block at a time from a tower? Yes. Jenga. Jenga is the answer. All right, very good. New Knoxville, it's your turn now with five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody ready? Okay. On July 2nd of 1932, who pledged a new deal? All right, the answer is Franklin Delano Roosevelt, okay? What person that ran for the U.S. presidency in 2000 is passionate about the environment? Yes. Al Gore. Al Gore is correct. Identify the iconic toy that has facial pieces that attach to a potato. Yes. Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head is correct. Two questions remaining in this round. Which founder of Microsoft was named the richest man in the United States in 1992? Yes. Bill Gates. Bill Gates is the answer. And Uganda is located on what continent? Yes. Africa. Africa is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our second round, moving into our final round of questions. Here's the score. Versailles, you have 80 points. Then New Knoxville has 30. These are 10 questions again. We're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. Everybody set? Here we go. Name the bride in the 2018 royal wedding. Yes, that would be New Knoxville. Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is correct. What marathon takes place on the third Monday in April? Yes. The Boston Marathon. Boston Marathon is correct. What ballet troupe was first organized in Moscow in the 1700s? Time is up, teams. The answer is the Bolshoi. All right. Finish this phrase. Necessity is the blank. Yes, for sales. Mother of invention. Mother of invention is correct. Question number five. What is the shape of St. Louis's gateway? For sales. Arch. Arch is correct. All right, question six in your final round here. Which U.S. president moved into the White House before it was finished? Yes, for sales. John Adams. John Adams is correct. In a Robert Frost poem, the speaker says, these make good neighbors. Yes, New Knoxville. Fences. Fences is the answer there. All right, three questions remaining in this last round. What word means thank you in Spanish? Yes, for sales. Gracias. Gracias is the answer. Voting for all of the candidates of one party is voting what kind of ticket? 
Yes, New Knoxville. Straight. A straight ticket is the answer. And your final question in this game. In 1989, who was the youngest man to become chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Time's up, team. The answer, Colin Powell. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Versailles and New Knoxville. Here is the score. New Knoxville, 60 points. Versailles, 130. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. And we want to thank you for joining us, New Knoxville. We'll be back after the commercial break with another game, so don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we have a winner on the board from our first game between Versailles and New Knoxville. Versailles came out the winner there. They're going to take on the winner later of this game between Riverdale and Paulding. Let's introduce you to the students now. Joining us from Paulding, we have Mary Kate Panico, Sam Adams, Katie Strayer, and Grace Tuttle. And Paulding is coached by Melissa Harder. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale. Playing for Riverdale is Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Zachary Kaler, and Justin Hartman. Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, everybody ready to go with this first round? We have 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs, but please ring in and speak as loudly as possible and make your answers as complete as possible as well, all right? Here we go, question one. Name the person that has become the only female Prime Minister of Israel in 1969. Team's time is up. The answer is Golda Meir. All right, number two. What is the largest country in South America? That would be Paulding. Brazil. Brazil is correct. What is the first element on the periodic table? Yes, Riverdale. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. Which president was assassinated November 22nd of 1963? Yes, Paulding. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is the answer. The PCAT is the admissions test for which higher education? Yes, Riverdale. Pharmacy. Pharmacy is correct. Moving on now to question number six in this first round. Which man is the most often mentioned man in the Bible? Yes, that would be Paulding. Jesus Christ? Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. <laughs> Question number seven, what is a trap for animals and also a type of side drum? Yes, Riverdale. Snare. Snare is correct. What state's name means Indian land or land of the Indians? Yes, Paulding. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? Yes. Indiana. Indiana is correct. What was the mythical golden city that explorers sought? Yes, Riverdale. El Dorado. El Dorado is the answer. And here's your final question in your first round. What do Americans observe each February 2nd? Riverdale. Valentine's Day. That is incorrect. You better get this one right someday. Paulding, what's your answer? President's Day. That is also incorrect. The answer is Groundhog Day, not Valentine's Day. All right, we are moving on now. Here is our score. Riverdale, you have 50 points. 
Paulding, you have 30. That means Riverdale, you're going to lead this first or the second round with five questions. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers if you could, okay? All right, number one, name the oldest American college that was founded in 1636 in Massachusetts. Yes. William and Mary. That is incorrect. The answer is Harvard. Which sea has water that is almost nine times as salty as the oceans? Yes. The Dead Sea? The Dead Sea is correct. Isaac Walton was famous for writing about what sport? Yes. Basketball? Basketball is incorrect. Fishing is what we're looking for. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. In 1815, where was Napoleon defeated? Waterloo. Waterloo is correct. And here's your final question. Which side was defeated at Gettysburg in 1863? The Confederacy. That is correct. All right, very good. Moving over now to Paulding for your five questions. Again, these are all yours, but please buzz in. Identify the first aid method to relieve choking. Yes. Heimlich maneuver. Heimlich maneuver is correct. In what mythical place was King Arthur's court? Yes. What is Camelot? Camelot is correct. <laughs> In what Italian city was Columbus born? Yes. Venice? Venice is incorrect. Genoa, or Genoa is the answer there. Which of the Great Lakes borders Ohio? Yes. Lake Erie. Lake Erie is correct, and you have one question remaining in this round. In what city is the peach tree 10K held each July 4th? Yes. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia is the answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's our score. Paulding with 50 points, Riverdale with 65. We'll be back with the final round after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, moving into our final round of competition now. We have one round remaining with 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. All up for grabs. Everybody ready? Okay. Here we go between Paulding and Riverdale. Our score right now, Riverdale with 65 points, Paulding with 50. What caused President James Madison to move out of the White House? Yes, Paulding. He was burned. You are correct, it was a fire. In what month is the Kentucky Derby? Yes, that would be Riverdale. April. April is incorrect. Paulding, you wanna try? May. May is the answer. All right, question three. Name the place in the Western Hemisphere with the highest recorded temperature. Riverdale. Death Valley. Death Valley is correct. What is someone with phobophobia afraid of? Yes, Paulding. Fear. Fear is the answer. In what country did Galileo live? Yes, Riverdale. Italy. Italy is correct. What part of the chromosome transfers traits from parent to offspring? Riverdale. Gene. Gene is the answer there. All right, question number seven. Name the study of insects. Yes, that would be polling. Etymology. That is correct. Entomology is the answer. Identify the heavy, strong, draft breed of horse from Scotland. Yes, Riverdale. Clydesdale. Clydesdale is the answer. 
Okay, two questions remaining here in your game. This kinsman of Jesus ate locust. Okay, that would be Riverdale. John the Baptist. John the Baptist is the answer. All right, we have come to the end. We have one question remaining. What is the B word that means mental indoctrination? Paulding, I mean Riverdale. Brainwashing. Brainwashing is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of a good game between Paulding and Riverdale, and here is our final score. Paulding, you have 90 points. Riverdale, you're the winner with 125 points. Congratulations. We want to thank you for joining us, Paulding, and we will see you back here next week. Until then, enjoy your week, everyone. Bye-bye.